Some guy made a video to defend Son Goku as a flat archetype. His claim was flat characters make up a huge portion of anime and movies, and they are very compelling exactly because they never waver from their ideals. Unlike characters that become better with time, like Vegeta, or become worse, like Zamasu, Goku stays the same because that is his archetype that defines the show. He's not trying to change, he's only changing those around him with his determination. Although this reasoning is fine, the justification falters when you have a story with plot continuity and power-ups. In the same video he mentions Indiana Jones as another character who was compelling for staying the same in the trilogy, and how people didn't like how he got old in the fourth one. He was supposed to be an empowerment fantasy that never ages and stays cool forever. That is understood, but the Indiana Jones movies don't have plot continuity or power-ups. As much as compelling a flat character can be, when Goku is in his 50s and still acts like the same 10-year-old he was in the beginning of the series, despite the dozens of power-ups he had received over the decades, then he comes off as an autistic man-child who refuses to grow up while everyone else around him moves on. It's even worse when the world blames him for not learning, as was the case in the Tournament of Power. Entire universes were being wiped out because of his childish behavior. He still didn't give a shit and kept acting like a 10-year-old. Because he's not supposed to learn, it's his job to be flat. It doesn't matter if everything was fixed at the end, the point was his complete lack of empathy with what was going on around him. So although a flat character is fine on his own, a story is not fine with such characters in it, when there is plot continuity. It eventually challenges the ideals of the main character, because from a point on, the world changes so much, the main character ends up having no relation with the world. The most famous example is Naruto, who started off as an underdog, then became the chosen one, and eventually turned into a washed-out dad in the sequel. The setting and the themes kept changing, but he couldn't escape his initial believe it mentality, and the result was a protagonist who was a far cry from what hundreds of thousands of people used to find compelling about him. This is a common problem with almost every fighting shonen, since they rely on power-ups for getting through any problem instead of the characters learning about the world they live in and slowly becoming better at dealing with progressively bigger problems by having a better comprehension of it. One Piece is a prime example of this, despite the villains becoming progressively stronger, and the amount of influence Luffy has on the world keeps increasing with each victory, Luffy as a character stays the same and only resorts to more power-ups for fixing everything. Even now, when he was one shuddered by Kaido and locked in prison where he's supposed to agree to work for Kaido, the only thing everyone expects him to do is escape, get a power-up and move to the next island without changing at all. They don't expect him to have a better comprehension of the status quo he's trying to overthrow, and thus find a smart way to change it by working through the system. That implies he's smart, which he isn't, because he remains the same man-child since the beginning of the series. What's even worse with flat characters is when the show spoils the outcome while at the same time constantly making a flat character to doubt himself. That is one inexcusable mistake My Hero Academia does all the time. Deku never changes. He acts like a hero since episode 1, he will become the greatest hero at the end, as the show itself spoiled in episode 1, and yet the show constantly makes it seem like it's character development every time Deku doubts himself or gets a power-up. It's a waste of time and dishonest, since nothing ever changes. Deku has no development or something to doubt, since he's a flat character that gets constantly validated by the plot. There is no realization in his journey towards becoming the greatest, because if there was, he wouldn't be given a dozen different superpowers without even trying, while at the same time constantly saying in the first episodes he will never have a single one superpower and that he will never become a hero. It doesn't work when we know the outcome. Flat characters exist as monolithic empowerment fantasies. They are not supposed to doubt themselves, they are not supposed to change or lose, they are also not supposed to stick around once the status quo changes, because they become alienated from the very setting they affect.